Good day everyone. I'm going to discuss about apicomplexia. For the introduction of apicomplexia, apicomplexia is a large phylum of parasitic alveolates. The majority of them have a unique type of organelle called an apicoplast, which consists of a non-photosynthetic plastid and an epica complex structure. The apicomplexia are a monophyletic group composed almost entirely of parasitic, like no free living species. Apicomplexia, along with ciliates and dinoflagellates, form a higher order group known as alveolata. A major defining characteristic of this group are flattened vesicle-like structures called cortical alveoli, which are found just underneath the plasma membrane. Formerly, the apicomplexia were part of a group called sporozoa and this name is still sometimes used. They have been some suggestions to revert back the name sporozoa. For the characteristics of apicomplexia, electron microscopy revealed unique ultrastructural features among the various sporozoa which were subsequently used to redefine the groups. A defining characteristic of the apicomplexia is a group of organelles found at one end, called the apical end of the organism. This apical complex includes secretory organelles known as micronemes and rop tree. Polar rings composed of microtubules and in some species a conoid, which lies within the polar rings. At some point during their life cycle, members of the apicomplexia either invade or attach to host cells. It is during this invasive stage that these apical organelles are expressed as well as the subpellicular membranes, which are actually cortical alveoli. The apical organelles play a role in interactions of the parasite with the host cell and the subsequent invasion of the host cell. Motile forms of apicomplexia crawl along the substratum in a non-amoeboid fashion known as gliding motility. Many apicomplexion species have flagellated gametes. For the general apicomplexion structure and life cycle, the apicomplexia have complex life cycles that are characterized by three distinct processes, sporogony, merogony, and gametogony. Although most apicomplexia exhibit these overall general life cycles, details can vary between species. Furthermore, the terminology used to describe these various life cycle stages vary between the species. The life cycle consists of both asexually reproducing forms and sexual stages. In monocenous species, all three of these processes will be carried out in a single host and often in a single cell type or tissue. Whereas in heterocenous species, the various process will be carried out in different hosts and generally involve different tissues. The sporogony occurs immediately after a sexual phase and consists of an asexual reproduction that culminates in the production of, of sporozoites. Sporozoites are an invasive form that will invade cells and develop into forms that undergo another asexual replication known as merogony. Merogony and the resulting merozoites are known by many different names depending on the species. In contrast to sporogony, in which there is generally only one round of replication, quite often there are multiple rounds of merogony. In other words, the merozoites, which are also invasive forms, can reinvade cells and initiate another round of merogony. Sometimes, these multiple rounds of merogony will involve a switch in the host organism or a switch in the type of cell invaded by the parasite, resulting in distinct stages of merogony. As an alternative to asexual replication, merozoites can develop into gametes through a process variously called gametogony gamogony or the gametogenesis as in other types of sexual reproduction the gametes fuse to form a zygote which will undergo sporogony in addition to my report the apicomplexia are an extremely large and diverse group 
seven species infect humans, which are the Plasmodium, Babesia, Cryptosporidium, Isospora, Cyclospora, Sarcosystis, and Toxoplasma. Plasmodium, as the causative agent of malaria, has the greatest impact on human health. Babesia is a relatively rare zoonotic infection. The other five species are all classified as Cuchidia. However, recent molecular data indicates that Cryptosporidium is more closely related to the Gregorians than the Cuchidia. The Cuchidia are generally considered opportunistic pathogens and are often associated with AIDS. Several apicomplexion parasites are also important in terms of veterinary medicine and agriculture. Most notable are the Babesia and the Teleria in cattle and Imeria and poultry.